Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on group theory. Um, let's do a problem. Okay, I, I choose this problem for you. Um, let G be a group then prove that for all elements, for any element A and B in the group, we have this A negative 1 BA to the power N is equal to A inverse B to the power N and A. All right, uh, let's have a little talk before starting to prove. Uh, what does this mean? This means that this element here has been operator within itself n times, okay? This does not mean this number raised to the n power. No, it's not, because we're not, this might not be numbers, okay? And uh, we're not, uh, ABA does not necessarily mean a times B times A. This can be matrices. It can be a, the operation can be function composition. So do not just distribute the N. Okay? This is not. It is not A to the negative N, B to the N, A to the N. Okay? So don't do that. Remember that we're not dealing with... Uh, uh, Let's call let's call it regular equations the one that we that we we're, were dealing with since high school. Okay, so it is not the case. All right, so let's prove the statement. Proof. Okay, uh, let G be in the group and A B element of G. Okay, now let's talk again about this guy. As I said. B A to the power n is equal to this operated n times. So this is equal to A inverse B A times times operated with. Otherwise, I I know it's really confusing because we we then treat it like uh, and and talk about it like we are multiplying, but we actually not. Um, a inverse B A A inverse B A A inverse B A N times, right? We said that already. Okay. So now let's pay attention to to what we just uh, produced. Uh, watch this. Uh, without having to re actually I'm gonna rewrite it I'm gonna rewrite it down um, we started with G being a group <coughs> right so we know that certain properties are guaranteed like the associative property uh, since the group is associative then I can move parentheses around so let's do it and let's rewrite this as a inverse B A A inverse B I'm just then I go here A A inverse B A let me call a parenthesis here A inverse B A I don't know if this is clear. I'm just so this A inverse is here. This guy is here. A A inverse B A. Okay. So I basically wrote the same expression in another way. Let me get rid of this ugly marks. Okay. So we know that these are inverses of each other. So this becomes E or we can we can just say we cancel them out okay now here 
if we had another term then it would start with an A inverse, B and A, okay, so I would have another A inverse and I would have an A over here. Okay, so all the A and inverse have been cancelled. So what we are left is, uh, with is we have this A inverse that uh, hasn't been cancelled with anything. And then we have B, and then we have another B, and then we have another B. The, the dot we have another B and we have an A now how many B's are left here well how many B's were here then because no one have been cancelled so we have N of these terms over here and there's a B in each of these terms so we have N B's N times okay so we have A inverse B operator with with itself n times so B to the n and a okay and this proved our statement okay. and we are done well, thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video where I'll do another problem